okay let us see the only data sufficiency set in cat 2008 this was a set which had two questions and there was a data in the beginning of the set followed by two questions this particular set typically talks about a normal knockout tournament what happens in a knock typical knockout tournament is there are certain number of players at the beginning let us say total number of players in the beginning are 32 so obviously after the first round the number of players will become 16 in the next round number of players will become 8 then 4 and then obviously the number of players will become 2 so we can easily say if the number of players are 32 then total number of rounds as per the question will be after one round it will be 16 after two rounds 8 after three rounds 4 and after four rounds 2 if i if you take a number which is not an even number let us take a number 63 then obviously there will be 31 matches 31 winners of 31 matches and one of the players will have to be given by so number of players qualifying in the next round will become 32 it is also given in the question that one particular player cannot be given a buy at any stage more than once so let us see question number 19 what is it is talking about what is the number of matches played by the champion statement a says the entry list for the tournament consists of 83 players now from the statement a alone we cannot find out the answer because we do not have the data that how many buys were given to the champion so first statement a is insufficient alone if i move to statement b statement b alone is insufficient because we do not have the data of how many players were there in the tournament so individually statement number a and statement number b cannot give you the answer if we combine statement a and b that means the number of players were 83 so from 83 in the next round we will go to the total number of players is 42 42 to 21 to 11 to 5 to 3 to 2 that means the total rounds will be having 6 we know there are 6 rounds and the champion received 1 by that means the total number of matches won by the champion must be equal to 5 that means combining the two statement we can easily find out the correct answer so we can say 4 is the correct choice if you look next question in continuation which is question number 20 what does it say if the number of plays say n the first round was between 65 and 128 then what is the exact value of n as we know that if the number of players would have been let us assume for the time being the number of players would have been 64 then next round would have been 32 16 8 4 and 2 that makes it total of 5 rounds or in other words we can say the numbers of players are between 65 and 128 total number of rounds has to be definitely 6 there is no doubt about it which we discussed in the question number 19 as well now statement A says exactly one player received a buy in the entire tournament now exactly one player received a buy in the entire tournament there can be multiple answers from statement A if you take the number of players is 127 then if you just find out the way tournament is going on 
exactly one player will get buy in round one. If you take number of players in 96, still we can have exactly one buy in the tournament in the round six. So statement A alone is not sufficient as we can have multiple answer. Let's move to statement B. One player received a buy while moving on to the fourth round to the third round. Now we don't have the data of did any other player received any more buys from round 1 to round 2, round 2 to round 3, round 4 to round 5. So there can be many buy or could be one buy. That data is not there with us. Statement B alone is again insufficient. If we combine the two statements, now we know exactly one player got the buy. We know that the only one player who received the buy was between from the round 3 to round 4. Just observing, we find out 120 is the only value which satisfies the condition. So, my correct choice becomes option number 4.